Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Before we move ahead on our agenda, I would uh, like to share a thought on behalf of uh, our board and our district. Uh, the tragedy that Oxford Community Schools experienced will reverberate for days, weeks, months, and years. For generations, Oxford has been our partners, friends, and neighbors. The victims and their families remain in our thoughts. Moving forward, it's more important than ever to offer support to Oxford, to our own staff and students, and to our friends and family. We want to remind families that Lake Orion Community Schools takes precautions to keep our students safe. We will continue to remain proactive in our efforts by building relationships between staff, students, maintaining partnerships with local first responders, and practicing drills for numerous emergency scenarios. We know everyone's hurrying. Let's lean on each other and stand in solidarity with our Oxford family. And also note our recognition of our thoughts for the Oxford community uh, with uh, the um, bows and the ribbons that were developed and uh, that we are also wearing this evening. In regard to that, uh, also, we have uh, revised our agenda for this evening. I, I would ask all of you to uh, take a quick look at it. Um, we are only acting this evening on items that uh, are time sensitive or require uh, no um, further discussion. Um, so at that being said, I'd ask for a motion to approve the agenda. I would make that motion to approve the said agenda as presented. Thank you. Thank you. Is there support? Thank you. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. So move on to the bond design plans for Blanche Sims. I'm sorry. Oh, it, yes. At this time, uh, before we move ahead with the agenda, uh, I would ask everyone in their own way, um, take a moment of silence for uh, the entire Oxford community and all those who were touched by the rippling effect of what happened uh, in yesterday's tragedy. Thank you. We'll begin tonight with uh, our presentation on the bond design plans for Blanche Sims Elementary and Heidi, uh, please. All right, this evening we have with us architects, uh, Tom Vandegreen and Mitch Dreiser from uh, GMB. So they are going to uh, present to us tonight the design uh, committee's work at Blanche Sims. So thank you, gentlemen. All right, I'll start and then give you a little bit of an overview to remind us where we're at the project. Um, it's an exciting milestone. It's a, it's a big project uh, getting ready for Lake Orion. Um, this is the last design project for the 2021 group of projects. We went through uh, several project design this year, moving to construction next year. This is the last of those, and it represents uh, kind of a transition uh, into projects where we're moving into series two of your bond. If you recall, there were three series, one, two, and three. Um, these are now transitioning to series two uh, projects, there's funding. Um, Schedule-wise, we are in the process of wrapping up the construction documents, the documents that go out to contractors. Uh, we'll be wrapping that up this month, and uh, by the beginning of the year, they'll be going out for bids. And so it's coming close. This project will be going out for bids uh, in, into the community. Um, the construction is scheduled for uh, beginning in, in the spring of 22, 
and then a year and a half of construction so that by the fall of 23, uh, it would be ready for use. Um, it's, it's certainly going to be an interesting project, not unlike Weber, where stuff's going to be happening while kids are in the building. So that will be uh, a little complex. Uh, the 22-23 school year will have um, life with construction by it. And it will be similar to, to Weber, where construction is going to be going on in the back side of the building while the kids are in the front side. At Rewald, your construction manager is working hard to do some of the things that are complex that need to be done um, overlap maybe spaces a little bit in the two summers so that the kids aren't there. But there will be, obviously, to fill the whole building, there will be construction going on for the 22-23 uh, school year. Design-wise, um, the building has some, some uh, Mitch is going to walk you through the whole, the, the plans and some of the elevations, um, but it's a great milestone. You're getting a new updated 21st century elementary school, um, a full replacement of the building. None of the existing building will remain when it's all done. The building will be built and that piece will be torn down. Um, certainly, the building is going to have a, a better useful life. The building, existing building has some useful life issues with failing infrastructure and things. So you're going to have a whole new building with all new useful life and new systems. So you should see better energy efficiency. Another, another benefit to this building is going to be a much more energy efficient than the existing building. The other thing you're going to get is an updated educational delivery. Uh, it's got all those kinds of spaces that help with today's uh, individualized instruction. Things for kids that they need different kinds of choices in a building and in, in furniture, all those kind of things. Uh, collaborative learning, project-based learning. Spaces that support that, uh, outside the classroom, these extended learning areas, support kind of spaces. So those kind of spaces we've started to infuse in your other elementaries as, as just those pieces. Obviously, the majority of the elementary stayed. This was a whole new build. Those are a little bit easier to, to infuse into the classroom section. But you will see that. Um, and then the last piece is updated security. Again, um, like all the, all the buildings we've been working on, this one is a start from scratch, so it's a little easier to do. Again, we took your security design team we had a couple years ago, developed all the standards, and looked at what would be uh, good ideas for security in the buildings. Those are all getting implemented here. Um, some of the big highlights of those you know, are the secure entry, that three rings of protection, three rings of, of, of protection to the, to the classroom. And um, this one also has lockdown scenarios where uh, the wings are isolated from each other, so you have limited access to the building, just get into parts of the building that you're in. And we did review the project with uh, both uh, police departments and fire departments for some of their recommendations and, and put some of that into the design as well. So that's kind of an overview. Mitch will walk you through it now and you'll see the product. All right. Thanks, Tom. So this first slide up on the screen is just uh, an existing picture of, of what's on the site today. So the red outline is the, the property we're working with, including the additional property that, that was recently acquired or in the process of getting acquired. We have Blanche Sims, the current building to the left end, and what used to be the transportation building now is a, you know, a, a, a dirt patch because that's been torn down at, at the right end of the screen. So this has been rotated, so north is to the right on this. And then if we go to the next page, you can see how that will change uh, once the new building is complete. So just to walk everyone through how the site circulation works, so you'll still be entering the site. Um, when I'm talking about cars entering in about the same spot as now, we still need to connect out to Florence in the same location. We'll then be pulling your, your entry drive a little bit further away from the property line than it currently is to get uh, vehicle traffic back to where the new school will be. So that, that first lot that you see off the, uh, off the drive, um, that is the bus lot. So that will be where buses drop off and then also um, park for, for pickups. And then the main lot uh, to the north of that is the visitor and parent parking lot and also has the parent drop off loop wrapping around that. So again, sticking with the standard of all the buildings in the district where we're separating that bus and parent traffic flows to help mitigate those traffic concerns as much as we can. Um, other big site elements, so you can see kind of to the south of those uh, parking areas is where the playground and open fields will be. And then the large uh, pinkish red outline is the footprint of the new building. So um, the classroom wings can stick out to the east or what's kind of on the plane down on the page um, towards that property line down that way. Uh, you can see also that there's no more current Blanche Sims, and really right now that's planned to just be you know, filled in and grassed over and allowed to, to 
can go back in once that building comes down and once the new construction is completed. <coughs> Here's just an enlarged view of the uh, playground area. So again, um, there'll be plenty of equipment for the children to play on. There'll be a large open field that can be used for soccer or other field games. And there'll also be a, a walking path uh, that wraps around for, for PE and other activities. We've tried to do our best to um, shade and screen that off from the drive areas. So there's fencing around that, again, to keep kids safe and away from traffic. And then also some strategic placement of trees and other you know, landscaping, again, to help so you're not, you're not playing right next to a road, but there's some privacy there. Okay, um, so this is a view of the overall floor plan of the building. Um, you can see the classroom wings, there's three of them stick out to the top of the page, and then you have kind of that main bow-shaped element of the building that has all the common spaces in it. The, the gym is to the left, the orange block is the main entry with the office area. Um, just behind that you have the media center and STEM room, special education rooms continuing around the bend from that, and then at the far end you have the cafeteria and kitchen areas. And as we go to the next pages, we'll zoom in on some of those areas a little bit so you can see those a little better. All right, so this is a kind of a typical classroom wing. So it will be home to two grade levels, um, six classrooms. You can see that the main feature of these is that there are central extended learning areas that have all the classrooms have access to. Again, that's a, a place where teachers can pull students out of the classrooms to some of the, you know, the 21st century learning activities that were really important to the school to be able to incorporate into this. And then just beyond that, outside, there's actually an outdoor uh, patio, outdoor learning area as well. Again, accessible to the classrooms off that extended learning space. Um, you can see down at the bottom of each wing are those doors that can close and kind of separate the wing off uh, if needed. <coughs> this is an enlarged view of the main entry and office area. And as Tom mentioned, uh, this really follows the standard that we've established at all the buildings up to this point. So it has the same quantity and configuration of spaces um, and the same entry sequence where you're getting buzzed in through the door into the vestibule and you're allowed to enter into the main office. And then from there, the staff allows you to get buzzed into the building. So in multiple layers of, of security as you pass through that. Um, this also has um, you know, the staff lounge built into this area. Uh, records room, health room, you know, office, and same same spaces that are in all of your, your elementary offices at this point. In large view of that cafeteria space, um, it has a stage that also um, backs up to the music room for convenience and, and you know, synergy between those spaces. And that's also where all the kitchen spaces are. Um, one important design element from the building standpoint was getting that cafeteria close to the playground zones for ease of getting kids in and out of the building. So that's one of the factors that shaped how the building laid out with the site. How that connects to the playground. Mm. All right, and then here we just have some views of the exterior of the building and, and what what it will look like. So this is a view standing near the cafeteria, looking back towards the main entry. So that the taller. Um, Canopy you see in the distance is the main entry to the building, and you're standing on the long apparent drop off. Another view of the main entry from a little closer. And this is standing under that main entry canopy. Uh, I think it's really important to note maybe here that there's a lot of glass, so again, great visibility for the office staff of who's coming up very open and welcoming feel um, and allowing you know allowing the staff to see who's approaching. This is a view of the secondary or cafeteria kind of an event entry over by the cafeteria space. So this is really intended maybe for that you know parent night or auditorium type performance where you, you want people to come directly to the cafeteria or in the future if you want to bring kids in a different door than the, the main entry this affords that opportunity. And then this is a view of that outdoor learning space at the end of each classroom wing that I referenced. So it will be a covered space. Um, and again, it's just a, a place to get students outside, potentially even on a rainy day if necessary, um, and just 
provide that, that change of scenery and access to the outdoors that was kind of important as part of the development of this, this building. This is a view inside one of the extended learning areas. So this is that space that all the classrooms are kind of accessed off of. Um, this should be a, an open and bright space. There would be a skylight on top of it, allowing a lot of natural light into the, into the space. And it has an operable partition that, that moves down the middle of it. And it's currently shown in its open position. So, um, you know, you could have kind of two separate extended learning areas, one for each grade level, or it could be opened up into a bigger space to serve a, a larger event. Another view of that with the doors out to the outdoor learning area shown. Another view of the extended learning area. That gives you a little bit better view of the skylight. And then this is a view in the main office with the reception desk, um, showing what it'll be like for visitors entering into the space. I believe that's the last slide. Are there any questions on any part of what you see? Questions? I think we've reviewed the details previously, but this is a great update and gives us an idea where we're headed. No questions? Thank you, Mitch, Tom. We appreciate all your work on it. Thank you, Thank you very much. Heidi, do you want to add anything to that? I think they pretty much covered it. The bond design team, as you can see, has been hard at work. So we're proud of the development thus far. So thank you. Good. Thank you. So we'll move ahead to public participation related action items. We have no one signed up this evening. So we will move on to strategic area discussion items and governance and, um, and uh, Ben, please. The only item here will be the uh, policy committee report. Birgit, were you gonna address the one change in the, the bylaw? Um, yes, the policies in your board packet are for a second reading. Everything came back without comment except for bylaw 0167.3, which you will notice in your packets, there is one slight addition and it's in green and it's a small verbiage that we added. And um, if anybody has any comments or questions at this time? Are you good, Jay? Okay. Questions? Fabulous. All right. Thank you. We're, we're, we're all good on that? Yes. Great, thank you. So we'll move to the assistant superintendent update, Heidi. I don't have an update this evening, thank you. All right, thank you. Oh, I'm sorry, well, I'm sorry. The new course proposals you'll see are for second reading. So were there any questions regarding any of the new courses being proposed? No. Okay, we covered those last meeting. Okay. We're good on that. All, All right, right, that's great. it. Great, thank you. We'll move ahead to human resources and Rick. Yes, I have before you tonight uh, one recommendation to hire. Um, Kim Bruce uh, will be at uh, Weber Halftime Special Education, and we also were able to mat, uh, work in a halftime learning support specialist to bring her on as a full FTE. You'll notice she's got nearly 20 years of experience, um, experience in Indiana, Minnesota, and Michigan previously, and she and her family have just recently relocated to Lake Orion. So. We're happy to have her with uh, a plethora of experience. She's going to be a great she, addition. She won't be joining us tonight, but we'll see her in no, the near is, future. She, yeah, she had a, a prior commitment this evening. All right, thank you. Uh, we'll move ahead to uh, finance and operations. And uh, John? Uh, in your packet, there is a, um, a bid award for the Stadium Drive Phase 2 project, and, com and combined with it is the Scripps HVAC bid award. Just as a note on the Scripps HVAC bid award, that was a piece that's tied to the Scripps project that's coming a little further down. So because of the supply chain issues there, we pulled it forward to secure pricing and increase lead time. So to make things work in a timeline schedule, we brought that forward. So in terms of the actual bid award packet, the scopes, um, <clears throat> excuse me, primary, it, it, uh, primarily at Stadium Elementary. It's the what referred to as phase two, although so there's a lot of interior renovation work, uh, HVAC replacement, electrical work, uh, STEM space development, uh, the old office area development, 
at the facility. Um, on page 170 in your board packet is the specific contract recommendations. If you'd like, uh, they can go line by line, or if you have questions, I'd be more than happy to address them. Any questions for John on this item? No, thanks, John. Thank you. Additionally, there is the uh, um, the, uh, the biannual approval or reapproval of the district's emergency operations plans under uh, Public Act 30, 436 of uh, 2018. Um, districts were required to formalize what everybody already had in place, the formalization of the process of developing a, what's known as the emergency operation plans. Um, based on a template provided by the Michigan State Police a couple of years back, we're now at our two-year renewal process. A template was included in your board packet to remind the structure of the document. Specific review capability can be scheduled with Julie or if some may have already done so. Um, so that is up uh, before the board for request of renewal. Questions? I just want to thank the team for their work. I did come in, that was just yesterday, wasn't it? Just, and I read through the documents and I appreciate the work that the building administrators and the cabinet level and all our local law enforcement have put into that. Thank you very much, as we know how important they are. Absolutely. It's a very comprehensive plan. That's that all I have tonight. All right. Thank you. Let's move ahead to action items. And uh, may I have a motion to approve the consent agenda? I move to approve the following consent agenda items. A, approved in minutes from the November 10th regular meeting, November 10th so superintendent evaluation committee meeting, the November 22nd policy committee meeting, and the November 22nd, 2021 finance committee meetings. Thank you. Is there support? Support. Thank you. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. May I have a motion to approve policy revisions for NEOLA updates, 35-1, 35-2, and non-discrimination, anti-harassment, and EDGAR. I move that we approve the proposed revisions for board policies, 43362.01, 5610, 5611, 7440, 8450.01, 220, excuse me, 220, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.01, 8440.
We have a motion to approve interior design using CAD course. I move to approve the high school new course request for interior design using computer-aided drafting as presented. Thank you, is there support? Support. Thank you, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you, the interior design using CAD course is approved. May I have a motion to approve honors world history A and B course. I move to approve the high school new course request for honors world history A and B as presented. Thank you. Is there support? Support. Thank you. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. The Honors World History A and B course is approved. May I have a motion to approve advanced marketing course? I move to approve the high school new course request for advanced marketing as presented. Thank you. Is there support? Support. Thank you. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. The advanced marketing course is approved. We have a, a, a motion to approve exploring mindfulness and mental fitness course. I move to approve the high school new course request for exploring mindfulness and mental fitness as presented. Thank you. Is there support? Support. Thank you. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. The uh, Exploring Mindfulness and Mental Fitness course is approved. We have a motion to approve Certified New Hire. I move to approve a Certified New Hire as presented. Thank you. Is there support? Support. Thank you. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. The new Certified Hire is approved and we welcome Kimberly to Lake Orion Schools. We have a motion to authorize bid award for Stadium Drive Phase 2 and Scripps HVAC. I move to authorize administration to execute contracts for Stadium Drive Elementary Phase 2 renovations and Scripps Middle School Building Improvements Bid Package 1 for HVAC in the amount of $6,278,107 and allocate contingency and allowances in the amount of $696,218 for a project total of $6,974,325 as presented. Thank you. Is there support? Support. Thank you. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. The bid is authorized, the uh, bid award is authorized for Stadium Drive Phase 2 and Scripps HVAC. May I have a motion to approve emergency operation plan renewals. I move to approve the emergency operation plans for Blanche Sims Elementary, Carpenter Elementary, Orion Oaks Elementary, Paint Creek Elementary, Stadium Drive Elementary, Weber Elementary, Oakview Middle School, Scripps Middle School, Walden Middle School, Lake Orion High School, the Pine Tree Center, Early Childhood Center, and the Community Education Resource Center as presented. Thank you. Is there support? Support. Thank you. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. The emergency operation plan renewals are approved. That concludes our action items. We will move on to uh, public participation uh, for other than non-action items and topics. And we have three people signed up this evening. And we'll begin with Heather Sinawi, please. But uh, instead of, we'll dispense with reading what we normally read. Uh, the key is we have five minutes, and I'll give you a hand signal at 30 seconds, 10 seconds, and if your time is reached. With that, Heather. Thank you, Chief. Do you want to use my Joey? Uh, it's yeah. going through. We can hear. Yeah. Yeah. Heather Sonari, 1525 Miller Road. Um, appreciate you giving uh, an ear to what I have to say today. 
it's a bit cathartic for me, so um, just wanted to say thank you ahead of time. Um, oddly enough, when I got the text about the events in Oxford, I was just about to sit down at my kitchen table and type up what I was planning to share tonight. I figured I'd said everything there was to say already in defense of parents' choice, so I plan to shift gears into how anything that the government takes more control of tends to end in ruin. To help us see that the answers that we're so often wanting to take comfort in won't be found in more government and less personal liberty. Then, in an instant, that changed. I took a breath and connected with the parents I know in Oxford, and my first instinct was to go to the school be at the school. I realize I'm, I'm not a first responder and my place wasn't there, but I wanted to be there for the people. I ended up at the Legacy Center to see their school board president, Tom Donnelly, and offer my support and to pray. There will be those, if there haven't been already, who may take full-fledged advantage of the tragedy to push an agenda. But try as we may to legislate morality, it's never had the effect I think we hope it will. Before I stepped foot in a building like this, I always believed that the most impact an individual can have to make change was in their families. I believe in having a loud life, not just a loud opinion. I wanted to shed light when I shared with you guys, not just on how masking healthy children is wrong, but that larger picture and the larger goal, which was to divide us. A little lockdown here, a little loss of life, leave it there, a little do this or you're a bad person, and we found ourselves slipping further away from what brings us together than apart. Yesterday's events brought us together. Nothing would have stopped me from caring and praying and sitting with those families, certainly not their political opinions. And for the record, it wouldn't have stopped me before either. Please know that I stand in full support of you as Orion navigates our response to this tragedy. I offer you my time, connections, finances, and anything else I can offer to help their community heal. I and a few local parents have coordinated a candlelight vigil at Children's Park downtown tomorrow from 6 to 8, and all are welcome there. I am familiar with the feeling of one day your life is moving along, and the next day it's never the same again. And so I'd like to take the rest of my time in a moment of silence for all the families affected. Thank you. Don Watsa. Thank you for uh, having open time for neighbors to chat. So certainly all of us feel it from yesterday. So my comments are super simple, relatively. Um, I'm your neighbor. I am one of 43 property neighbors to Blanche Sims. There's no other project that affects the neighbors like this one. The next closest would be Walden, and they have 11 property neighbors, residents. So in that, I just want to extend my, you know, I've talked to John, and he knows who I am. I border it. I have some concerns. The neighbors visited with John's team and the builders uh, about a month ago. And learned about what the project was. Um, we really essentially had no input. It's been designed and it's been put together. And I guess as a neighbor, I would like to extend to this group, you know, you have open access to us as neighbors. Come and walk the property, come and be around, because we are your, your closest neighbors in terms of things. And, uh, OK, 
guess it just occurred to me, but this is this is terrible. If something like that happened at Blanche Sims, we would be immediately there for your children, for our children. And so, otherwise, <coughs> it makes sense to be good neighbors. And I don't mean to bring that in, but you know, we are neighbors, and so we have a number of concerns. We've expressed them to John. Um, I know it seems like decisions have already been made, but. I would like our group to be able to give some input and ask questions that felt like maybe we're not heard. Um, and that's the only reason I came. A, we're neighbors. So if we can be neighborly, that would be super clear. And John has our concerns. We, you know, take them to the board, or to, the, to that group. So I know you don't do questions at this time, but I'd be happy to share my time with you if you have any questions. Thank you. Thank you. Chris Dover. That's me. Yes. I think John summed it up for me, but I'm not sure. All right. Thank you. So we'll uh, close with a recap and next steps. I didn't identify any items for um, for next steps. And those items that were on our original agenda will be on the December 15th agenda. Those items that were necessary will be added, right. yes. There were some updates that we removed tonight. Right. For sure. Right. So, yes, good. thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll go to closing comments. John? I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Rick? Just thoughts and prayers thank for you. everyone involved, both communities. Heidi? I would just like to thank our staff and students today. It was definitely a hard day for many, um, but we came together and um, supported one another, and that's what we will continue to do and be there for Oxford as well. So thank you. Thank you. I, just, I too, wanted to recognize and thank our staff for being there today. Our students uh, certainly needed them, and, and they were there to support each other as well as uh, the staff. And, and certainly our hearts go out to the uh, Oxford community, the families, uh, friends, colleagues, and uh, certainly the first responders that were, were there to uh, save lives and uh, make a difference, and, and they did. But uh, our heart goes out to them. Thank you. Steve? Um, yes, sir. Well, I always said, Jim, that um, Oxford and Orion is one community. When they're in pain, we're in pain. Oxford, we love you from Lake Orion. I know Mr. Kirby and Mr. Weeman reached out to the Oxford um, peers, and our prayers are with you. Thank you. Susan? I mean, unfortunately, there are no words today that can um, help this situation. Just know that everyone who's been affected, we're keeping you in our thoughts and our prayers and um, are here standing beside Oxford through this terrible tragedy. Thank you. Danielle? I share, of course, all the same sentiments, and um, I just wanted to say the four names out loud. Hannah Tate, Madison, and Justin. Thank you. Jake? Yeah, I, I do want to say welcome to Kim, because we did hire somebody tonight, so there was some good news. Uh, as you notice, Scott Taylor, one of our fellow board members, isn't here with us tonight. Uh, at, as many of you know, he is uh, the, the proprietor of Sick Pizza, which is right in downtown Oxford. So the first responders passed right by his front window yesterday and he said it was it was unbelievable so he was not typically open on Wednesday but uh, he he and his daughters went up there and said we got to do something so they opened today to give away food to anybody that needed it to, you know the people that were in the community and then they came up with an idea for the next few days that I want to share with you so they're going to be open from 12 to 8 uh, Thursday through Sunday and they're only making small round uh, pepperoni pizzas and they're giving them away for donations and and, and whatever you can contribute uh, it, it Scott you know Scott and his partner Tom are you know providing all you know everything but they're just looking to raise money you know, for this cause to help out the community and I know that Lake Orion can can show up and and really help out in this way so uh, my brother Scott's up there now, and 
and let's all support him and do everything we can do to support the Oxford community in the coming days, weeks, and uh, thank you. Thank you, Jake. Birgit? Our ties with Oxford are multiple and they transcend friendship. They transcend the rivalry that we have with them. We have within our school community a, a level of gracious professionalism with them. Wow, well, now, you, now you can hear me. And the, the pain that they're feeling is just rippling through, I think was the, the words Jim used earlier. There's this ripple effect. Uh, we've lovingly referred to them as North Orion. They lovingly refer to us as uh, South Oxford, and you know, we'll take it. Uh, this week, we're all wildcats. We're all bleeding a little bit blue and gold, and our hearts are broken for them. Thank you. Please pray for anyone touched by this tragedy, for healing, peace, and understanding around this tragic event that's happened to our neighbors. With that, we are adjourned. <laughs>